<laughs> what is up everybody it's your boy shazwi and welcome back to another video shazwi yay how is everybody doing i'm doing all right hope everybody's having a good day if you're new to this channel and you're clicking on me for the very first time please be sure to like comment and subscribe and also turn that post notification button so that you get notified every time i upload a new video with that being said let's get straight into today's content let's go everybody <laughs> um first of all i would like to apologize for the noise if it's too noisy for you i'm currently sitting outside as you can tell um also i'm also like 30 minutes away from the world's busiest airport so there are a lot of planes that do fly through here <laughs> that's how atlanta is you know busy place um but yeah um i am so excited to get straight into this video so i hope everyone's doing well you know it's friday it's a good day i hope everybody's getting lit has plans to do whatever i hope you're all doing well so today i wanted to come to you guys and talk about a pretty controversial topic now this topic might be something that most people probably don't really care about or think about but if you're a mississippian or have a relative who is from mississippi this would probably be something that you could care about or probably you know what i want to think about i'm not sure it's really up to you <laughs> so today i wanted to talk about you know the mississippi state flag and why i feel like it should be changed you know this isn't only just like some little opinion that you know i and you know other people have but i think it's something that'll be beneficial to the state and i feel it's something that is just very important i think it should be required that it would be changed so um, I'll display the Mississippi state flag for you to see for those of you who haven't seen it. So the Mississippi state flag has gotten a lot of controversy because it has the Confederate state flag on it. And the Confederate state flag was used as the battle flag during the Civil War, right? And the Civil War is a war that was uh, fueled by slavery. Now, of course, other people argue that it's about heritage and was about state infringement on states' rights. But, that, yes, but the states' rights were about continuing slavery. You you had the North, which was the Union, which outlawed slavery, and there was a movement to outlaw slavery throughout the entire country, but in certain states, specifically southern states, didn't want to get rid of slavery. And so the North was like, well, you, we're going to have to force you, like you have to get rid of this shit because that's, it's wrong, you shouldn't do that. And they were refusing to. And then next thing you know, it was being hidden through certain things and a big war started or whatever. I don't need to get into all that. The Civil War was about slavery, point blank period. Historians, scholars, all these people agree it was about slavery. So when people argue against not changing the flag, or at least not removing the Confederate part of the flag, it just doesn't make sense to me because, first of all, remembering the Confederate flag is anti-American in itself because the whole point of it was the Confederacy was seceding from the Union, which is the United States of America. So it was seceding from America, hence anti-American. So why would you want to embrace or be proud of something that is anti-American? It's like, it's like neo-Nazis in America. The Germans freaking hated America. They wanted to bomb this place and like take over it. So why do you, you know what I mean? Um, you know, and it's a flag that just stands for a lot of hatred. It is symbolic of hatred, hate speech. It's symbolic of that slavery era. And then a state like Mississippi, you know, which is not just white people, by the way, it is African Americans that are there, Africans like myself, Asian Americans, and people of many different ethnic backgrounds, Native Americans, Hispanics, etc. You know, being becoming more and more diverse. The, that having that state flag there with the Confederate flag on it is not representative of the citizens and the inhabitants of the state and so when I look at different polls and think about different referendums that have been put in place whereby people voted majority to stay with the flag I'm like is it that you like the flag or like, like do you really like this confederate thing because I've even had discussions with a friend of mine you know and it really got me heated because it's like you literally have no good excuse for having the flag there because he was just like oh I don't care if it's there or not but I want it there like people are trying to forget about the civil war like that's such an idiotic response like like, why would you want to forget about the civil war that's something that will always be remembered and talked about just because you remember a war doesn't mean, doesn't mean that you stand for the the emblems and the ignorant backward thinking things that that were represented i mean it's not like you go to germany and you see people with swastikas everywhere if you put that shit up in public you'll probably get stoned to death 
<laughs> an exaggeration you won't get stoned to death but it's something that is very much there against it it's wrong they understand that the some that was something that was there during that time it was part of world war ii but it's something that's looked at in a wrong way and it's not even representative of the country they've moved on from that and i feel like with mississippi mississippi is such a beautiful state with amazing people and mississippians and southern people in general are like the nicest people i have ever met so when i think about like them not wanting to change the flag it's pretty sad because a lot of people around the rest of america yeah, so basically a lot of people, you know, around the rest of the country, around America, and then, you know, pretty much around the rest of the world, a big reason why they also have this sort of mentality of like, when they think of Mississippi, they keep associating it with a past that is not representative of the future of the present. We've moved on beyond that. That's not the Mississippi of today. And I'm happy that Mississippians are progressive, not progressive in terms of it's blue, but progressive in terms of their forward thinking. They want diversity. They want the state to do the best it can. And if you go to any person, you know, especially whether they're people who support having the flag there or not, they'll all tell you, oh, I'm not racist. I do want things to be better for Mississippi. So it's like you want things to be better for Mississippi, but you still want to associate with a flag that is literally the antithesis of who you are or at least who you claim to be you know what i mean it's just a lot of hypocrisy or like sort of you know clashing of like ideologies that are going on that that flag represents and i feel like it's a really sad thing that you know a lot of people still want that flag but i feel like if a proper vote was put in place with like all people um you know all young people like especially 18 or older voted in these referendums like the one in 2001 which was under um the then governor ronnie musgrove there was a referendum in 2001 for a redesign of the state flag 64 percent so 488,000 people voted no against this referendum um and then 36 percent of the vote which was 267,000 people voted for it to change the flag so that's the um flag that we know of today the mississippi state flag adopted in 1894 um, is still there because people kept voting against it being changed. So yeah, it's a really, it's a really tough thing. And also, you know, another reason why I feel like it's important to change the flag is because I feel like it's also hurting the economy, you know, to an extent. Um, for example, in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, which is on the Mississippi coast, um, a merchant resident of Ocean Springs called Jan Rideout, who owns a boutique shop there, there are lots of boutique shops in Ocean Springs, she said, I have a lot of local customers who have told me they are starting to avoid shopping and eating in Ocean Springs because of the flag going up, because, you know, it's raised and, you know, it's displayed. Officials don't believe that the flying of the flag, though, has negatively impacted businesses. And in fact, they think it's actually the opposite, that it's actually improving the economy and not bringing it down. Um, according to the WLOX report, the town's elder man said that revenue from the food and beverage uh, tax was up by more than $44,000 and retail sales tax was up more than $13,000 compared to the last half of 2016. However, the mayor um, you know, still wanted a referendum of Ocean Springs and also ride out as, as well. She wanted you know, the, the flag to still change. So currently, the other flag that is also popular in Mississippi that has been gaining popularity is the Stennis flag, which I'll display. So the Stennis flag is a flag that was um, proposed in 2014 by a woman named, I believe her name is Laurel Stennis. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, oh, it's Lauren Stennis, who was the granddaughter of uh, Senator John C. Stannis and basically she proposed this really nice flag where you basically remove the confederate flag you got a big star in the middle all of that stuff so you know basically you know I just feel like if you, if Mississippi is really going to move forward and if it stop and, and, if, and, and, and if it's going to cease being associated with a past that is not a part of the people that is not it it's just literally the past is just what happened you know in history they have to change this flag. I feel like 
changing the flag will be a big, big gesture. You know, and actions speak louder than words. You can't just say that you don't associate with this, but you still raise the emblems high. Because a flag is like a brand of a company. It's like the logo. And the logo that you have says a lot about your company. It's what people first see when they see a company. So in the same way, Mississippi's flag is hurting its business. It's it's the logo and the brand that is, is hurting its company. That's hurting Mississippi. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to really talk about that and get into that because it's something that I'm kind of like, like really passionate about. And I just feel like it's wrong to have something so hateful and so wrong and symbolic of so many bad things to still represent the country. I mean, literally, Mississippi is the only state in the country to still have the Confederate flag on its state flag. And I'm like, if you all want it, don't have it as the state flag because not everyone in the state feels that way. If you all still feel like this is a good flag, keep it to yourselves and display it on your own. Don't make it the rep a representation of the whole thing. South Carolina changed its flag. All the states changed their flags. Why can't we? do it oh, it's just so wrong because even other states like oregon philadelphia new jersey don't even freaking recognize our flag don't even recognize us and it's like well they recognize us but it's like they don't recognize the flag anyway i'm saying us as if i'm a mississippian i go to college in mississippi so that's why i personally feel like this is an important topic but if you're someone who doesn't really care and feel like this doesn't affect you especially if you're a mississippian i think it's important for you to really think about that you know, because Mississippi also economically, it's not doing well. And each year, you know, the unemployment rate, uh, so I heard, gets worse. So it's not really going up the way it's supposed to. And I feel like the Mississippi state flag has a hand in that. But anyway, this is my opinion at the end of the day. Feel free to comment down below what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. So like, comment, and subscribe. Please feel free to share the channel. Also have an amazing weekend. And I'll and also stay tuned because I will be posting a new video um, very soon with my review of a certain movie again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, love you guys. Um, yeah, I will see you guys again in the new video. With that being said, I am out. Shazwee gang. Mm -hmm.